Hey guys, so I know it's been so long since I actually been on here to actually, you know, just say hi and see how you guys are doing. Sorry, I have my mirror right here for some reason, I don't know why. Um, but, but I've just been so busy with work and life. Um, so I do, I have been posting videos and everything as you guys see, so I haven't completely forgotten about you guys. I just actually wanted to come on here and say, um, you know, hi to you guys because it's been a while. Um, I haven't you know posting my videos like usual like one or two a week or whatever it is um i know you guys are going to ask about my hair which i will have a tutorial um up soon and i'll put the link in the description box because i'll probably end up posting these two videos on the same day so i'll put the link to this tutorial for this hairstyle down below i posted this picture on instagram on monday well today's friday so i posted picture on Instagram of this hairstyle Monday and I got like a bunch of comments and questions asking how I did it so I ended up doing it again today and I recorded it this time so that you guys would be able to see what I did um it's really really easy like once you see how I do it like it's really simple um as far as my makeup go I use my defining eye kits by makeup by Tiffany D by makeup by Tiffany D by Tiffany D um, which is sold through Sigma I actually love this palette if you guys want me to do a um, in-depth review of this palette let me know and I definitely will do that for you guys um, but I did this entire look using uh, just this palette actually and it's really really nice so if you guys want to see it let me know and I will definitely um, do a review for you guys of what I think about it um, and that's pretty much it for my eyeshadow my foundation or powder foundation routine I have a video of that posted already I pretty much did that it's my weekend glam uh, foundation routine it's the same exact thing and I did that um, and you can find that on I'll put the, the link down below for that tutorial as well and that's pretty much it for me so I put like a little blush on from one of my uh, uh, sleep blush by three palettes and I actually don't remember if I did. Yeah, I did. I showed you guys my Blush by 3 palette, the lace one. I used that for my blush. And that was really it. It was just a nice, simple, quick look I can do to go to work. And just like a fresh, clean face. I didn't want to do anything too dramatic. Um, so that's really it. So I hope you guys enjoy. I do have a couple of reviews that I need to get done, which I'll probably just bang them out right after I finish this video um so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys have a really good new year um if you guys have any requests or anything like that please leave them down below in the description box make sure you guys are following my blog I'll put the link to my website down below so that you guys can you just put your email in and you follow it and you'll get like um I think it's like a weekly update of any posts that I did post or you can set it for daily or whatever it is but you'll never get one daily because I don't post every day so you'll probably get like one a week um so definitely make sure you go follow my blog I'll put the link um to that down below and what else oh just a real quick um FYI usually I get questions and comments about certain things in my videos if I haven't um, if I didn't say it in the video, usually I try to put it in the description box or on my website. So sometimes I'll get a question like, oh, how many months natural are you? I've been putting that information in the description box when it's a hair video. If, I'm, if it's a hair video, I do put that information down below. Um, so if you're ever watching a hair video and you're like, you know, how you know how many months natural you things like that just check the description box it's usually there or any type of you know random information I think you guys would ask it's in the description box because sometimes I can't respond as fast when you guys send me you know uh, you leave comments or inbox me and things like that it's usually not really instant because usually I check my messages about three times a week maybe four if I'm not busy so sometimes you can ask me a question on Friday and I may not get back to you till Monday. And maybe, you know what I mean? So just sometimes check the description box. If it's not there, definitely leave a comment. Definitely send me a message. I'll definitely respond as soon as I can. Um, 
but that's just an FYI. I know in the past I wasn't really that detailed in my description box, um, but I'm making a conscious effort to be more detailed in my description box for you guys so you guys can get some of those instant answer answers that you want. Um, um, other than that, I think I'm good. You good? I'm really feeling my makeup today. Very simple, like clean. Um, what else? Oh, my protective styling. How has that been going? That's another question that I've been getting a lot. Um, it's been going very well. I'm actually doing way better than I did last year. Um, I pretty much been protective styling straight since I started in September, and I want to continue until it's my two years. So that's April. September, October, February, March, April. So that's about seven months that I'm reaching for in this January now. So I have a few more months to go. Um, it's been going very well. Like usually I wear a protective style for a week, wash my hair, condition it, deep condition it, and then do another protective style. Or depending on what the style is, I'll leave it in for two weeks. Like if it's like mini twist or the semi mini twist, I'll leave those in for about a week and a half, two weeks. And then I'll wash deep condition my regular routine that I would usually do. Um, I do like to give my hair a break from protective styling. So usually I'll deep condition. Like if it's one of those styles that I've left in for about a week and a half or two weeks, I'll take it out, wear my hair out for probably a day or two, and then I'll put it back up in a protective, like real quick roll, tuck, and pin type of style. I usually do or I do like some buns like this or a variation like this week I wore a different bun every single day. Um, I did this one, I did my Marley bun, which this is Marley here as well, but I did my Marley bun, which I have a tutorial for that already. Um, and I've just been trying to work with it. I'm, I'm one of those people that get pretty bored with my hair and I like it to look different a lot, but I don't really want to do it a lot. So I've actually been doing really, really good. So I'm pushing it out to April um, to see, you know, just give my hair a little break. So I can't wait till April to see like my girls and I probably will do a flat iron in April, which I haven't done a flat iron since my one year anniversary. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to do it again for my two year anniversary, but I think I'm going to do it myself this time. <laughs> that's months from now so I'm not even thinking about that I'm just keep trying to come up with these two protective styles. I did have a wig made um and I kind of butchered the bangs so I have to go and, go and have her fix the front because I totally jacked it up um because she when I first got it she did it like cut it in a swoop which was okay but it was just too much hair on my face so then I went in the bang and I tried to cut the bangs myself and I butchered it and I posted a picture on Instagram it was like a hot mess you can't really tell from the picture but <gasps> yeah I'm gonna get that fixed so that I can wear that on days where um like I may have mini twists or something like that or days where I don't really feel like doing my hair I can definitely just throw that on. It was a really nice wig. Um, so once I get that fixed, I'll probably be doing, wearing that. I did make a wig, but I was kind of just practicing on it. So like I washed it and I kind of messed up the hair a little bit. So I threw it in the garbage, but it was okay because it was only cheap hair. It wasn't like a big deal. Um, it was kind of hair that I've had left over from when I used to get so wins when I was relaxed all the time. So it was like old hair that I, you know, just stumbled upon. So. It was a nice wig, but once I washed it, it was kind of like a wrap. So, that was that. And all those heavy things. I got a few requests to do a couple of tutorials, which I'm going to try and work out. Some of the styles that you guys are asking for doesn't really fit into my protective style season. So, if you guys are looking for me to do those, some of those videos, um, I may not get to them until my protective style season. Because, like, to be honest, I'm, I don't want to interrupt my protective style season just to do a video like once I'm back to wearing my hair out and freely for the spring and when you know spring and summer I'll definitely get to some of those so if you guys are like well, where's the video I asked you for just understand that I am doing a low maintenance protective style thing until the end of March early April um so some of the styles may require me to wear my hair out that you're asking for and I, I'm honestly not going to do them until then. So, 
just in case you're wondering what's taking me so long, that's what's taking me so long. I'm waiting to, um, I've completed my protective style challenge. Mm, I don't have much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this real quick update video of whatever this was. Um, I will see you in my next one. Um, keep a lookout for a tutorial for my little, little kitty. I don't know, I've been calling it everything. I've been calling it the Gaga bun, the bow bun, the Hello Kitty bun, the Minnie Mouse, whatever. But it's not really Minnie Mouse to me. Someone else said Minnie Mouse to me. I think it's, you know, one of those three. A Gaga bun, bow bun, Hello Kitty bun, whatever. I'm going to have a tutorial for that. So let's keep a look out on that. That'll probably be the next video after this. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.